Good morning, Lighter fans. Welcome to another long-awaited, much-anticipated Time Cruisers episode. I know it. I know it. you guys really wanted me to do this episode for a long time. And, you know, my inbox was really f packed with all these requests and whatnot. Uh, but, yeah, so uh, it took me a long time to, to get this one together, uh, mainly because the set itself is uh, kind of old, you know, 1996, from a very, you know, popular series. Uh, it's very hard to track down, yeah. So, uh, but before I get into that, let's just uh, briefly touch upon the Lego at the 90th anniversary contest that has been going on recently, or maybe not so recently, based on when this video actually goes out. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so basically out of 30 themes, uh, three ultimately go into the finals, and after that, uh, only one is made for the 2022 season. Uh, but unfortunately, Time Cruisers didn't make to the cut. I, it, was, it was close, let me tell you, it was real close. Uh, but the top three themes are Bionicle, Pirates and Classic Space as of now. That may change in the future if, you know, trains outbeats all of them or, you know, goes up in ranks heavily. Uh, but yeah, so that's it, what it is right now. And as a, you know, disappointment for, disappointment for all Time Cruiser fans out there, they won't be making a brand new one. Uh, it's a real shame. Uh, I might try to make a mock later on of a Time Cruiser's themed set. Uh, but that's, that's further down the road. All that aside, it's really good that they're doing a vote to see at least what fans really want in terms of LEGO, in terms of re remade new sets and whatnot. Just a shame that Time Cruisers didn't make the cut, but oh well. Uh, at least, you know, in my mind, I can make my own Time Cruisers set by just combining any set that I have, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, with all, without all the moving stuff, of course. Anyway, uh, this next set is what I would have liked to see in the 2022 uh, remake, basically. It is set 6493, the Flying Time Vessel, or the Flybo. It's kind of their, uh, basically their uh, their signature time travel device, uh, despite the fact that in the comic books, uh, they later get a button that can just transport any, use any vehicle to transport through time. Kind of a ripoff, but, you know, uh, I really wish they would have just kept with a boat, but that's an all inside. Um, but yeah, this this boat uh, basically flew and flapped and went through all kinds of time and solved all kinds of troubles and twistings and stuff that the villains used to do, or just in general, uh, <laughs> players of Lego like to inflict upon their minifigures. You never know. Uh, but yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right on into it. All right, so here we go. Here's the flying time vessel, finally, uh, or the flybo, as it is commonly referred to as. Basically, it is a combination of uh, the pirate theme, the aquanauts theme, the knights theme, uh, jet airplane from the city theme, and uh, some propellers just for fun. Um, it's basically a whole lot of uh, craziness here. A very tall vehicle too. Let me just uh, pan up to share how tall the mast actually is. It's uh, goes all the way up there. Has the monkey too, of course. Um, but yeah, so basically it's a very cool, fun little vehicle, a lot of moving action, a lot of, uh, a lot of neon too, for good measure. Um, I really enjoy it, uh, just because it's unique in a lot of ways. So, uh, why did they choose to do a flying time boat in, in the first place? Well, ultimately in 1994, uh, Lego received a fan submission from, I believe, a six-year-old, uh, but he desperately wanted Lego to make a, uh, basically, a time machine set. Uh, of course, he made it a car, and due to related reasons, <coughs> Back to the Future, <coughs> they couldn't make a time-traveling vehicle of that nature, so they went with the uh, next best thing, a flying time boat. Yeah, because that's the next logical uh, leap there. But the whole thing comes across as a really fun, kind of Victorian uh, notion of uh, if you add more wings and propellers to things, it'll anything will fly. And certainly that they did this in spades. It's, it's a lot of fun here, uh, as is uh, most of the Time Cruisers series. Um, but yeah, so basically looking at the whole thing, up here on the front, we have the dragon head covering over a, what I assume is a, a, like a laser or some sort of guiding light or something. Uh, that's a nice, uh, nice way to kind of cover over. Uh, at least the building portion there. Uh, you got some dragon arms here covering over a couple of Technic holes, little teeny tiny wheels, a couple of air horns on the front here, and um, a couple of crossbows to fend off any unwanted guests. Uh, on the top here we have a cool little periscope, kind of cool. Uh, I love that. I love that piece there, the little angle piece. I don't know why, but it's so odd. Um, 
and I wish they used it more in more sets. I'm sure they used it a lot, a lot in Aquanaut sets. Uh, on the side here, we have the flapping wing and a bit of the mechanism, which I will show more in detail in, in a bit. Uh, on the side here, we, uh, of course, we have the the crow's nest and the uh, the mast here and the the rope ladders and everything. All, you've already seen that. On the side here, though, we have all the hats, which uh, Dr. Cyber and uh, Tim Cruz can actually use to basically blend in with any time period. Uh, we'll get into more than that in a minute. I'll share with you all the little helmets. But basically, there's a bunch of knight helmets. Uh, there's a little pirate bandana and an Aquanauts helmet, I want to say. Well, anyway, uh, on the very back here, we see the rest of the exposed belts and gears and whatnot. And ultimately, this comes across as the more interesting part of the vehicle for me. Uh, just because we have a lot of things going on. The double propeller here being propelled by the uh, belt there and the, what I can only assume to be the propeller for when it's in the water, although I'm not sure what the wings do when they're in the water, you know, in the universe. Uh, this is the correct way that the this little uh, flag here is supposed to be pointed. I assumed it at first it was a rudder, but it, uh, it kept clipping, <laughs> kept uh, getting knocked off. So I just uh, I re, re looked at the directions and so I looked at the directions and uh, it was supposed to be like that. So I know it's supposed to be weird. Uh, that's the whole whole entirety of time cruisers. It's entirely weird. Uh, but yeah, so basically the whole action, the whole flapping action is driven by this wheel, which is then, which is then carried through this axle and another belt that goes inside the whole vehicle and then through here and out the back. And that's really cool how they basically hid a lot of the mechanics inside the vehicle itself. And that's, I, re I really wish they did more of this type of building uh, in bricks instead of in the Technic series, but that's just basically a nitpick from me. But yeah, so anyway, up here on the top, we can see the uh, periscope, and if you tilt that forward, we can actually s reveal the driving cockpit. Let me see if I can get it in that shot without uh, the mast is actually poking my, my camera. That's funny. Um, yeah, so on the front here, uh, we can see Dr. Cyber working with a couple of controls. Nothing really much going on in there. Uh, but in the back here, we have all the treasure, the precious, precious treasure, which um, is basically just a bunch of swords and other utensils. <laughs> uh, basically, it's more uh, more cosplay stuff that uh, Dr. Cyber and Tim can actually use. And I wish it was actually uh, placed in there a little bit better with bricks and whatnot, because it can easily fly out. But I, I guess that's the reason why this is all covered up. Let me set that off to the side. Uh, but yeah, so with this whole set, you get Tim Cruise here. He's looking his usual self. Let me take off his hat. Oop. Okay, never mind. Uh, his usual self with his giant unibrow. Let's see, light. There we go. And his weird, weird nose. Love the tea. Love the shirt. Nothing really much going on there. And we get uh, Doctor Cyber out. I love this guy. He looks very kooky. Uh, he's got his cross eyes, his uh, his little glasses, and he's got his little mu mustache. And his little uh, twisted tie there, and with the, I don't know why he even has a pencil tied to it, but, you know, he's crazy, it's fun. Uh, he's just the usual crazy scientist figure that uh, Lego desperately needs in spades, I think. Uh, at least in my opinion, there can never be too many scientists. That's, yeah, that's a good life lesson, I guess. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Let's uh, take a look at the monkey. Try not to pull off his hand here, which happens a lot. Uh, there we go. Ooh, almost did. So here we have a non-brick built monkey, which is kind of rare for, for Lego. Um, Lego doesn't do these much anymore. And that's a real shame because there's just one bot, one uh, piece of plastic with a little simple little head and four minifigure arms. That's really, really, really simple. And I love the uh, stud here on the bottom where you can just basically make him uh, surf on, on something. <laughs> I really like that. A lot of play value here. Uh, just a lot of ways you can have him hanging around and the tail is really fun. Um, yeah, any set that has a monkey in it, I'm, I'm instantly gonna buy, and that's a, that's the reason why I got into time cruisers. Really, beyond the, beyond the time traveling shenanigans, which they undoubtedly get into. Okay, so inside the chest we have the infamous Ice Planet chainsaw. That's a nice neon orange. A little pirate's, uh, I guess, just pistol. A glow-in-the-dark wand from the uh, basically the fantasy series, and a, another pirate weapon, a cutlass. 
And here we go. Here's a Ice Planet helmet. I love the little antenna on the side there, along with the uh, the narrow viewfinder. That's really cool. Wish they bring back Ice Planet. That seems like a fun series. Uh, here's a Knight helmet with a nice little grill on the front. Here's an Aquanauts helmet as well. Another Knight helmet. Uh, pirate pirate uh, bandana, and here's a captain's hat. So uh, basically anywhere that uh, Tim Cruise and uh, Dr. Cyber can go, they have uh, accompanying headwear. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's probably one of my favorite Time Cruiser set of all time. <laughs> Get it? Um, but yeah, so uh, I really wish that Lego had actually made a, a brand new Time Cruiser set because it's unique. It's fun. It's it encapsulates everything that uh, imagination and and creativity can muster from a child. Basically, anything that you can imagine, you can do with these guys, and it's fun. They combine any of the themes and just go with it. That's all that Lego is really. Uh, just making fun with what you have. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, if you'd like to see more reviews, more things like this, more random fan service ramblings that I do. Um, Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.